Hi, hello everyone. Uh, I wanted to make a video where I show how I uh, paint this scroll and show in a quick way all the steps. So I always start with a sketch like this and how I do that is When I start, I typically start with a circle, like here. So, like this. And in a circle, I use I'm doing it like I'm uh, working in 3D. So this is the cranium and here is the jaw. Think in simple shapes. So here we have the jaw. cranium. If you have this you can start drawing the neck. I think in 3D like the eyes if you draw the eyes on top of it I think that the eyes lie on top of the ball so they go with the shape. The nose as well. Here the eyebrow, eye socket. The nose goes like this. It's like this on top of that. The eyes as well. It's like this. on top of that. The ear sticks out and the hair is where it's a different shape on top. So when you have these basic shapes, you can start sketching on top of it and in details, but keep in mind of that 3D shape and draw your shapes around it, like this and then the eyes. Eyebrow, nose, nostril, mouth, the hair, and that's how I typically start out. If you turn this off, yeah. You have this, and in the end, you will have a sketch like this. And the next step is to color block it. And I do that with the selection tool here, or if you press L, and make a la layer beneath it. So and then I start making the shape. If you hold Alt on Windows, you can make a hard line. 
and if you release you can and if you press alt you can make the hard line but if you drag you get a smooth selection line and now making the shape of the head and the ear like this how I pick my colors skin tone um, for skin tone I use a red and then light yeah this typical uh, typical skin color for a white person so yeah when we have that you can do the other things like the hair I already did and that so and you can make maybe the hair in the back no no really fast like this and if you have this all you've done this all you have this and here you can start painting but like here and then I use I use the brush settings I typically use yeah, just standard brushes I put on the shape dynamic the brush tip shape I use a soft brush then I press this this button and I press this button so you can draw within the shape let me show so if you take maybe it needs to be more red reddish like this and you see I can draw within the shape if I turn it off and I do this you see it goes outside the shape so it's like it's a mask then you can start shading some casting shadow of the hair eye sockets here it's a bit lighter What I also sometimes do is when you zoom in, you can see the, uh, the good total of the character. So I go window, arrange, new window for uh, go painting, and then you have a second window, so you can make this small. And when you draw here, you see it here in the preview. So here I do the lips. And basically I do the basic shading like this. And you can also block in the colors just with a normal brush.
stuff up from here. Here's the eyeball. And then I use the soap brush again. Press this button. Put this. So it feels round and not flat. This. Oh, turn on the transfer. Put in a bit of here uh, reflective light. So what I mean with the reflective light is the light is coming from here. Here's the sun. And the light goes here and here, but it also bounces up a bit on the skin. So this part gets a bit lighter. It gives it, yeah, gives it gives a nice effect. And then I start with the iris. And the iris, funny thing because you think if, it, if it's a ball you get light here on top maybe yeah, it's in there. highlight but your eye if this is your eyeball and this is your lens. Your lens is transparent. And here's your iris. And your pupil is just a hole. It's a hole and it's black because here isn't any light. So what happens when here's the sun the sun shines on your lens and it goes through your lens and here and it lands so this get light and this get darker because it's transparent I hope that makes sense but that's why and you can look up uh, look at photos or cartoons or feature animations you'll always see that where is it why doesn't it work yeah so that's why it's lighter at the bottom. See? And this is a bit darker. Yeah, that's the, that's the feel. And you can add a highlight be some extra and then you have a realistic eye so if you have all the basic stuff here I shade it in really basic and then I start adding details so this is the part that takes the most time. I just paint over it until I am happy. So I'm gonna show shortly how how I do that. So I just go to the layer and sometimes I make a new layer on top of it. And sometimes I just use a normal brush with only the transfer on. And I 
pick a bit darker color and start adding colors making here is a, it's a bit of a hard edge it's a bit of a hard edge so add this and I want this to be lighter because the eyelid this a bit darker and when I paint I use a lot of the eyedropper start adding adding stuff if I want to make the cheeks a bit redder I take a soft brush put the layer on multiply and I add the color so then you have you can make red reddish cheeks um, that is basically how I work and it just takes time to get to this level putting layers on top of these uh, layers and uh, yeah, adding stuff until you like it That's it. Thanks.